Caleb with Brownells here. Today we're going to be installing the Hoag Monogrip on the Smith & Wesson Revolver. Doesn't matter what frame size you have, the process is going to be the same for all of them. Let's get started. Let's start by clearing our firearm here. Nice and clear there. Open your packaging. Now you're going to have your grip itself. You're going to have the bracket with the screw. Start by unscrewing the screw from the bracket. You can set these aside. From here, we'll remove the screw that goes through the grip frame itself. For this, I like to use the 210-6 because this bit fits the Smith & Wesson revolver grip screw the best. Remove that screw there, set it aside. Carefully lift up your grip panels. Carefully remove those there and set them aside. Now if you'll notice, there's a cross pin, that's a roll pin that goes through the butt of the grip here. Now this is going to be your indexing pin for your bracket. So what we'll do here is take our bracket and flex it over that indexing pin. You'll have to expand it a little to get it on there. And that snaps right on. And that'll be a little loose, but that's okay. Now we'll take our grip, and if you notice, the grip has a channel cut in it for that indexing pin. And we'll just slide that channel right over the indexing pin. Just press that grip flush against the frame. From here, all that's left to do is insert the retaining screw. Get that screw nice and snug, careful not to over tighten it. Now you have a nice comfortable grip that will help absorb a lot of that recoil. Thanks for watching, see you next time.